For this video, I am working off of 01 groundline.aep inside the chapter 3 folder if you're working with my source files. If not, feel free to continue following along with your own character. What I want to do is create a ground line. It'll act as a guide as we start to produce the walk cycle. The ground line is useful to keep our feet level because as we start to move the feet during the cycle, it can sometimes be difficult to remember where exactly the foot should land. So with that guide set up, everything is clear and it makes animation easier. What I want to do first is make sure that no layers are selected. I can use V on the keyboard to select the selection tool and then just click off on the composition panel. That way nothing is selected. Next, come up to the shape tool. In this case, we want to access the rectangle tool. You can use Q on the keyboard to also select this. And you'll see we have some fill and stroke options at the top. We just want to have a fill for this and no stroke. So you can reduce the stroke to zero pixels. And for the fill color, I'll make it a vibrant green, but really you can choose whichever color you wish. And once we have this selected, let me just zoom out. I'm just going to come down here and we're just going to click and drag to create the ground line. So something like that. Because the ground line is above the character, what I want to do is raise the character up as well. That way the feet are closer in line with where I want them on the ground. So first, let's click on shape layer one, which is the ground line we just created. And I'll hit enter on the keyboard to rename this to ground line and then hit enter. I'll click and drag on ground line to bring it below red thunder separated. And we'll click once on red thunder separated, hit P on the keyboard to bring up position. And then using the Y value, which is the second value within the position category, we're just going to click and drag to the left to bring him up about like this. And that should be pretty good. So we'll keep the feet at about that level. If you wish, you could come in and shrink up the ground line as well. So we could come in, hit S, and then unconstrain the proportions I can make that a bit thinner. We can come down, we could use the ground line like that. So it's a little bit easier to tell where the feet should land. So we'll go like that. That leaves us plenty of headroom to work with and everything should be good to go. I will save this file and up next, we'll start with creating the starting stride for the walk cycle. 